should I start? So, I'm doing a skincare, hair care, and I'm going to show you guys my little secret on how I get my lashes to be super long. So, first, sorry, I'm out of breath, guys. I'm out of breath. I know the lighting's horrible. I'm sorry. Let me, let me move you guys. Let me move you guys. Looks even worse. Oh my god, that looks horrible. Okay. Nope. Oh my yes. god. Okay. Let me just move you back. Better? Alright. That's fine. So you're going to be using simple makeup wipes. This is what I use. I love this so so much. I used to use the Neutrogena ones, but I noticed that they give me Milia. If you guys don't know what that is, just look it up. It's basically little white heads if you guys want to know. I use this, so I'm going to wipe my face, and then I'm going to show you guys what I use to wash my face. I will wash it in there, but I'm not trying to show anything. So, let's wipe the face, and then I'm going to wash the face, and then I'm going to hop in the shower, then I'm going to show you guys what I use after. So, let's do this. We're gonna use face wash. All right, so. This goes to show you how much I have used it. It literally has come off like everywhere. But it is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Face Scrub. So you guys can kind of see how it looks. You can like kind of tell. So you can just get this at Target, okay? You guys can get this at Target. So I use this right now to wash my face. Usually I normally do this in the shower, but I'm just doing this to show you guys what I do, like I said. So you use this, and then after I get out of the shower, I use the same brand, but I use their mud mask. So this is what the mud mask looks like. All right, so yeah. So I use both of these together and I have noticed that they have helped my skin like so so much so I really can't live without these products and like I said you can get them at Target and they're super inexpensive. Everything I use to take care of myself is completely affordable so if you guys are trying to be looking balling on a budget you guys can just totally get these things and you guys don't have to go to Sephora or wherever you guys can literally just get this there so and you can buy it online they have this at eBay and stuff. So yeah, let me wash my face and then I will be right back. So I got a little bit of water and I put just a little bit on my face, just like this. And I try and wipe the excess makeup from my eyes, just like that. Then I get a little bit of the scrub and I'm almost out you guys. <laughs> and I've had it for like two months now. So I get just this much like a pea size amount, a pea size amount, and then I just rub it. The makeup wipe that you just used to wipe all your makeup off, you're gonna wipe off everything under your eye. So use like the clean part that you can from your wipe, so just so you don't have to use a new one, trying to save money, you know? 
because those 30 wipes they run out super fast especially if you do makeup girl sometimes you gotta use two you know what I mean so just gotta wipe very gently just like so and try and rub it gently against your upper lash line as well to get all the mascara that's in there like look how much got out from doing that so now you're gonna do the other eye So, that is what you do, uh, a little, oh, do you guys ever get eye mocos? I freaking hate that. I get so many eye mocos, I freaking hate it. But okay, so now my face looks naked and you're good. So this is the part usually where I wash my hair and stuff and I wash everything else. So I will be right back. The next thing that you guys are gonna see is already me out the shower ready to do other stuff so I'll see you guys in a little bit all right so I'm out of the shower now <laughs> I'm out of the shower now so you're gonna let your hair towel dry okay as you let your hair towel dry oh yeah what I use in the shower I use um, just regular head and shoulders I can't use any other shampoo if I do I don't know why I get dandruff so that's like the only one I can use and then I use, for conditioner, I use the Tresemme Expert Keratin Smooth with marula oil. Don't look at my face. Don't look at my face. There we go. I use that and then, this is going to be really nasty guys, I'm sorry. The pump doesn't work that well. I use the Equate Beauty Biotin and Collagen. Focus, no, yes, no. Come on. There we go. Okay. So I use those two, and those are huge, huge bottles, so those are gonna last you a very long time. So those are what it what I use in the shower. And then now as I'm letting my hair dry, I get a little bit of water. I just a little bit of water, just kind of shake it out, and I'll just put a little bit on my face. All over. Then that's when I go ahead and I use the African black soap face mask. I use that and then I get like two finger swatches of that. So this much. And then I just put it all over my face. I just put it all over my face. And you're just gonna slap it on there. I'm just saying. And do not listen to the packaging if it says like, oh, leave it on for like 10 to 15 minutes. Bitch, I freaking leave that shit on for like half an hour. Just saying. <laughs> I feel like if you're gonna put a mask on, freaking put it to its full use, you know what I mean? Because you're just gonna wash it down the drain anyways. So you might as well not waste it. And I put it on my eyebrows too. I put it on my eyebrows because I noticed sometimes, I don't know why, I used to get like little white pimples. I don't get them anymore. Maybe because the cord is on, but I used to get them. So just to be safe, I put it on there and then I put a little bit on my chin because as you guys know, I'm pretty sure you guys have to match your face with your neck. I do, so I have to match my foundation. So I do put it there just to be safe, just to make sure I don't get any acne down there. So you do that and then you just leave it on for like as long as you want. Sometimes I've left it for an hour, I'm not even lying. So do whatever you gotta do at this time, okay? Cook some dinner, watch some Netflix, do your homework, whatever it is you gotta do. Talk to your best friend about whatever's going on. Whatever you gotta do is what you gotta do. So I'll be right back and then I will show you guys what I use for my hair and how I maintain it so I keep it as healthy as possible. But I will be right back. Cool. All right, so the mask has been on for a good while now. You're gonna wash all this off. 
So I get a little bit of water and then I just massage it onto my face. Just to soften it, like so. Focus on me, girl. Focus on me. Okay, good. So you're just gonna do that, and then you're gonna go like at a time. So you see how this is going? I'm gonna get more water, and then I'm gonna keep rubbing it. So I usually do this twice. And then after that, I just rinse my whole face with water. So I'll be right back. washed it off and now you're just going to use the towel that you use to towel dry your hair and you're just drying your face off. Oh my gosh, I love this mask you guys. I like seriously love it. Alright, so your skin is going to look a lot clearer as you guys can see. My skin is like way brighter and way clearer. That's why I love it. So, now you're gonna put your favorite moisturizer, okay? So, um, why isn't it focusing on me? There's like no fingerprints either. Okay. So you're gonna put a little bit of cream. I use cortisone. And you're just gonna get a little bit, massage it into your hand, whatever moisturizer you guys like to use. This is just what I use every single night. Um, I just massage that onto my face and I pat it under my eyes, my smile lines, my eyebrows, my forehead, and my neck. Alright, so this is what I use to get my lashes to grow and this I like swear about this stuff. It has made my lashes longer. Literally every single person who asks me, oh my god, how did you get your lashes so long? This is what I use. Alright, so it's called La Bella Vitamin E Oil with Aloe Vera. You guys can get this at Walmart. So I'll explain to you guys where it is in the description box below, just so you guys don't really- I don't have to take too too much time on this. Oh my gosh. It's like getting me some It's like so clear. Alright. Is that better? Alright. I'm sorry guys if the camera is like kind of blurry. But you just get a little bit, dab your finger onto there. And you just get just a little bit guys, like just a little, little bit. And you're gonna- just go like that very gently on your eyelashes. Just throw it on there. And then I put some under my eyes. I noticed that this has helped with my wrinkles a lot. And you're just gonna do the same thing. And if you guys wanna try to grow out your eyebrows too, put it on your eyebrows. And then I get that excess. And I just put it on my lips. So that is done for the face. For the hair. I use this when it's wet. I use the Organics Coconut Milk Oil with whipped egg white proteins. And I get two pumps and I massage them to my hands. And I just work it mainly through the ends of my hair and then I work my way up. So just like so, I hope you guys like can see. I just massage it on there just like this and I run it a little bit through the top, not too much. And then that's that. So then after, I usually typically dry my hair. I'm not going to because it's really late at night. I don't have time. So please don't listen to me on this, please. It's really bad for your hair. But make sure you dry your hair before you go to bed. Please do not sleep with your hair wet. It damages your hair so, so bad. So don't do that, okay? But after I dry my hair, I use this hair oil. It's from Pacifica. 
It's the Native Flower Nourishing Hair Oil. So I use this. You can get it at Ulta and I'm pretty sure Target too. And I get two pumps of that. And I do the same exact thing. So you can use a little light hair, but it's preferably meant for dry hair. But whatever you guys want. But just make sure your hair is dry before you go to bed. I cannot stress that enough to you guys. So I just do the same thing. Work it to the ends of my hair mainly. And then put a little bit on the top like so. And then the last thing I do, I braid my hair before I go to bed. I try to not put it in a bun as much as possible because when you put it in a bun, your ends get split faster, if you guys didn't know that. So when I'm at work and stuff, I always have my hair braided for the most part. Like 99.9% of the time, my hair is always braided if it's like not fixed and stuff. Just so that it's not in a bun and it's not getting damaged. But yeah, so that completes the look. Not even the look, but that just completes like how I take care of my skin, how I got my eyelashes to be long, and how I take care of my hair. But that is it. I hope you guys have a good night. I'm gonna go meet me now because I'm super tired. But I love you guys so much, and I hope you guys have a good night or a good day wherever you guys are.